as of right now mermaids are believed to be works of fiction. But with over 90% of the ocean still unexplored, there's those that put forward the idea that they could exist in small regions. For hundreds of years sailors have reported encountering ugly oceanic creatures. They describe them as looking human-like, but with the bottom half matching that of a fish. Stories were soon shared and many believed that these underwater inhabitants were genuine. Depending on who you talk to, some claimed that they were good and would help humans in times of need, while others said they kept their distance and in some cases were actually evil. As mentioned though today, the scientific world has said there's no proof of these underwater creatures, but that hasn't stopped people coming forward with their own encounters. The most recent one is these photographs that have been making the rounds on social media. They were posted to a cryptid group. For those unaware, cryptids are labelled as creatures that are not recognised in the scientific world. For example, the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot. The photographs do appear to show what looks like a mermaid. Various photos were taken before it jumped into the water and swam off. One of the issues with these reports though is that it's hard to track down a source. Some claim the photographs were taken in the Amazon rainforest, while others said they were captured somewhere in the Philippines. As of right now, not much information can be gathered about the photographs. As skeptics have pointed out though, when it comes to mermaid photos and videos, they can easily be faked. Not everyone is of this opinion though. Amateur researchers have claimed that early humans could have adapted to an underwater lifestyle. This has become known as the aquatic ape theory, and this is the idea that humans ventured into the oceans millions of years ago. Some theorists have put forward the idea that it's one of the reasons why we're so different from other species of apes. They claim that bipedalism was achieved by venturing into the water millions of years ago. What's interesting is that some species of monkeys show this trait while crossing shallow rivers. It allows them to keep their head above the water and also look out for predators. Humans have hairless skin when compared to other apes. We have it on our head to protect us from the sun. Meanwhile primates such as baboons and other monkeys which live on the savannah have neither lost their hair nor developed an upright posture. This is why some people have put forward this theory. Where did we learn this and why are we so alike, but at the same time so different from these other aims? Our brains greatly expanded at one point, and is thought this was promoted by the protein-rich fish diet. We have a hooded nose that helps prevent water from entering the nostrils. Although these are interesting points, scientists have said it doesn't prove that mermaids once existed, and that people back then were most likely misidentifying common oceanic life. For example, manatees under certain light can take on a humanoid form. So what do you make of these photographs and the aquatic ape theory? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.